wearing pajama pants. <laughs> hey Posh Bosses, so you want to grow your business, make some extra money, maybe you're even a bigger dreamer and you want to quit your full-time job or retire your husband. No matter how big you're looking to build your business, you can work it full-time or you can work it part-time. What you can't do is work it sometimes. You will not find long-term success being willy-nilly about your business. You will find long-term success when you're sure to touch your business every single day. And I know, I know, I can already hear you, but Jessica, <laughs> I have a full-time job and a needy husband and seven children and my in-laws are moving into my basement and I think I want to get my pilot's license. I surely don't have time to work my business every single day. But you do have time. And don't worry, I'm going to help you guys map it out right now. Now, I trust you all have your notebook in hand and you've already been feverishly taking notes because that is step number one, you guys. You've got to be organized. It doesn't have to be fancy but you've got to have all of your info in one spot. The notes app of your iPhone could even work, but what worked for me was a trusty dusty notebook. So I've got three top tips for you to help you touch your business every single day. Now number one is keep your eye on your why. Now I know this is the basis of many of my posh trainings, and that's because it's true. If you don't know your why, you're not going to be motivated to work toward it. Okay, tip number two. If you're anything like me, you have so much you want to get done that it's freaking overwhelming to get started. So, what's worked for me is setting up a weekly schedule. Each day has a focus, and that way when I have time to work on my business, I know exactly what I want to work on, whether I have five minutes or all day. So for example, my loose schedule looks something like this. Monday, I focus on mail outs, anything that needs to be sent out. So the things that I mail out on Mondays would be sample packages, recruiting packages, thank you cards, or maybe even just a surprise little how are you doing box. I should show that to you. So this is my surprise how are you doing box. <laughs> it's just a little, um, I think, four by four box. And I pop some samples, I pop a bath bomb, and I line it with a piece of tissue paper, and then I could put a cute little sticker right here. And then I take it an extra step further and I put my Jessica Posh sticker right there. But I can mail this box for like $3.50 and it's a great way to connect with a customer that I maybe haven't connected with in some time because I dropped the ball on following up. Or maybe a customer wants to send a little happy mail to one of their friends. I can send one of these. I might charge my customer $5 and then I send it. I'm not making a ton of money slash any money on those, but it's a service that I'm providing to my customers. Anyway, so those are the types of things I mail out on Mail Out Monday. Tuesday, I focus on training and personal development, whether I'm training my team, training the posh bosses, or training myself with personal development. Anytime that you can dip into personal development, you will be extra motivated in your business. You can do tons of things. So you can head over to Posh Bosses and look at what training is going on over there. You can head over to my YouTube channel and look at what trainings I have available there. You could read a personal development book. You can listen to a podcast. You could ends endless endless amounts of things. There are so many different resources to seek out training or even provide training. Even if you only have a team of two people, they're wanting to hear from you. So maybe take a minute and explain how you do your recruiting packages or take a minute and explain how you wrote your Why Posh. Those types of things are going to help your team grow their business, which in turn, grows yours. I call Wednesdays, What's Up Wednesdays, and that's the day that I try to connect with my teammates. If you don't have a team yet, connect with your customers or maybe connect with potential teammates, right? Use Wednesday to connect. On Thursdays, I focus on my VIP group. So you wanna be posting in your VIP group. Maybe even Thursdays you go live in your VIP group. Put together a weekly plan for your VIP group. And guess what? You can put that plan together on a Thursday. On Fridays, I focus on follow-up. You guys know the lifeblood to our business is following up. So I put follow-up on Friday and I also put it out on Sunday. I'm going to follow up with everybody I need to on Friday. Maybe anybody that I was unable to connect with, I'll put on a list for Sunday. But I'm always following up on Fridays. Sunday is my second day for follow-up because Sunday is a really great day for follow-up. Most people are home. Well, most people are home every day lately, but you get the idea. Saturdays I use for YouTube. You might use it to plan out your social media posts. Whatever you choose to do, that's your day for planning. 
And then, like I said, Sunday, I bring it home with another round of follow-up. The fortune is in the follow-up, you guys. And I can't tell you how many times I personally have made a purchase that I swear to you I did not even intend to make, but because the salesperson did such a great job of consistently following up, I decided I wanted to make the purchase. And it's not that they talked me into it, it's just that they're following up, kept it in the back of my mind, kept that subconscious thinking about it, so that when it finally came time to decision time, I was like, well, yes, I, I need it. <laughs> so let that be a lesson to you, follow up makes a difference. So that's a really important thing for me, and I do that two days a week. Now that's the schedule that I follow. You could put together your own schedule. The gist of that tip is really to have a loose schedule. If you've got a different focus every single day, again, whether you've got five minutes or all day, you know exactly where to put your focus. Okay, and tip number three, again, something so simple, yet hardly anyone ever does it. Plan your day out the night before. So when all is said and done for the day, sit quietly for just like five minutes and brain dump anything that you left unfinished from that day and everything that you need to accomplish the next day. By having that loosely written out schedule, it really allows me to rest at night, right? Because I don't have all of these things running through my head. I've brain dumped them, I have a focus, I have a list for tomorrow all ready to go. Also, that next morning, I don't have to waste any time kind of gathering my thoughts or putting together a focus, right? I have my list ready to go. I have my focus of the day ready to go. I'm ready to work. And you guys, here's a bonus tip. Just like anything else, just because you've fallen off the wagon for one day or one week or maybe even all of last year, it's never too late to run and catch up. Consistency is key, so get back on the wagon with me. There's no greater feeling than looking back at all that you've accomplished. And you guys, when you touch your business every single day, it's just a matter of time before those accomplishments start racking up. I hope this was helpful. Best of luck to you and your business, and I'll see you next time.